the country between uh, 1919 and 1933 had its experiment with alcohol prohibition. And um, if you read some of the literature about it, for example, a great book I read called Last Call uh, by, I think it's Michael Okrent, um, you'll find that prohibition succeeded basically in building up organized crime in America and uh, organized criminal groupings, um, which got very rich and succeeded in corrupting the police, the judiciary, and so on, and basically set the society at war against itself. And when we repealed prohibition, it wasn't because of a, a unanimous feeling that alcohol was good for everybody in all circumstances, but simply that the costs and the harms of criminalizing alcohol were far worse than giving people the right to make their own choices about their lives. And I think we're very much in the same place today, and we're also hearing some of the same uh, propaganda and hysteria about marijuana that uh, people invoked in a last ditch effort to save prohibition. Ms. Snyder, let me come to you. Back to this point about overdoses, because we heard a lot about overdoses, and uh, I'd actually introduced the medical marijuana law in Maryland and decriminalization in Maryland, and one of the witnesses got up and cited an article saying that in the 24 hours after Colorado legalized marijuana, 37 people died of marijuana overdoses, um, and then proceeded to launch into uh, a diatribe about the horrors of uh, marijuana legalization. Well, it turned out he was quoting from The Onion or another comedy website. And, and uh, you know, a staff member brought me the article he was quoting from. And I didn't want to embarrass him, but I did say, you know, would this change your opinion if you knew that this article was false? And he said, well, I would certainly have to rethink my position a lot. But of course, then went on to make other arguments. Um, I guess. The question that I, I want to ask you, uh, Ms. Snyder, is to what extent have you thought about this analogy culturally and socially and politically and legally between what happened with liquor prohibition over a period of 15 years or so versus this marijuana prohibition, which has been going on at least from the state level for a century and at the federal level for 50 years, which means that the harms have been uh, even worse than the harms of alcohol prohibition. Um, what did you see in terms of your work as a cop in New York? Well, I saw that once, so prohibition of um, alcohol, we saw how the nation responded. We saw that once it started to become more morally acceptable or more societally acceptable by general consensus, people were like, okay, we'll legalize it and regulate it. We're starting to see that now with cannabis. We're seeing over 90% of the population is just so attuned to under thinking it's completely acceptable, completely normal. And that's what I was seeing on the street as a police officer. No one really discouraged, I don't want to say no one encouraged, but it wasn't looked at as taboo as it once was. 